Okay, so I have a clip here with the extension .b raw, which means Black Magic Raw Codec. It's one of these Black Magic makes DaVinci Resolve cameras, and it's a certain type of raw file that, in theory, Avid won't recognize unless you put in and do some work here. So unless you have the AMA plugin set into Avid, Avid will not see this file, will not be able to import this file. Avid will give you some sort of message that says, I don't know what this file is, right? So how would we get the B raw footage in there? One thing to think about is when you're trying to guess what AMA plugins do I have in there you have something here called the console tools console and this is really unintuitive to even know where to type it in but in here in the bottom here is some sort of search box a very odd space and if you type AMA underscore list plugins and you hit return, it's going to show you what AMA plugins Avid has in here. So I already installed this. I'm going to show you how I did it. But here is this one called Black Magic Raw. Once Avid gets this, now Avid can see this file, import it, link it, transcode it, etc., etc., etc. Before you do that, Apple can do nothing with this B Raw. So how did I get it? So when I Google searched, it did not come up very easily. There even came up some point that said free download for Avid and Premiere, but when you downloaded it, installed it into Avid, then it wanted $99 to activate it. So there is a free plugin for Avid, but the way to get it, a little, again, counterintuitive, is go to blackmagicdesign.com slash support. So when I got here, even to Black Magic searching and whatnot, search by model, right? I was trying to search it here. It's not very clear, not very intuitive where these downloads are, but they are here on this Black Magic support page. And over here on the left, next to all this other junk with news and support, is something called the latest downloads. And if I follow this down here, there was something. Let's see if I could find it again. Right, and so I finally found it down here. Not easy, wasn't easy to search. This download called Blackmagic Raw 2.1. And in a sense, this will let your computer, let Avid, see, recognize what a Blackmagic Raw clip is. So what happened was, obviously, I downloaded the file. I extracted it, and what you get is an installer. Now, the one good thing, even though how bad and confusing that other parts was, the great thing was once I double-clicked this and installed this, I really didn't have to do anything. It knows where to go in Avid, all the stuff like that. And now Avid and Premiere, actually, because I have both on this system, both were able to immediately see this B raw clip. So if I link it right now, just to show you something before I won't transcode it here, here it is. This footage shot in Blackmagic Raw, 4K, right? Ultra HD, as they call it, 3840 by 2160, which is television's version of 4K. And you see, you may say to yourself, wow, that is really washed out. What kind of camera shoots like that? That looks terrible. But of course, we have to deal with putting the LUT onto this type of footage. So again, much easier back when I started where someone handed you a tape and you digitized the tape and you didn't have to go searching through Google to find codecs and downloads and, 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 and installers and things like that. So let's talk about installing the LUT. So in this case, I did a Google search. There might be other LUTs. There might be better LUTs. I went to this ground control color or a free LUT, I should say, for Blackmagic cameras is the way it was described here. I, in theory, bought it even though it was $0.00. Now I got a file here called Ground Control BMD LUT. And what do I do now? I'm opening it up here. There's a certain file I wanted to get into Avid. How do I do that? In my user settings, I'm going to go to color management. And what's going to happen here, I'm going to select a LUT file with this button here. And it's going to say, where did you keep that LUT file? Yada, yada, yada. And once I installed that LUT file, so now I have this LUT file into my Avid. I'm going to close this. And now if I went to this B-Raw footage and I right click and up at the top here is something called Source Settings. And this in theory is where I'm going to install my LUT. And so I'm going to go down here to the color adapter type and go to user installed LUTs. And there is the only one I just installed here. And when I, now you, you might say to yourself, wow, I have it on there. Nothing's happened. I have to hit this button add. 
And once I add it, hopefully you can see that here. I'll zoom in. Wow, what a big difference that makes. I just applied it. I could still adjust later on if needed, but what an amazing, amazing difference that was. So hopefully for someone, this video saved you a lot of time and hopefully within five minutes you went from going from what the heck is a b-raw clip and how do i get into my avid to now you have a beautiful b-raw clip in your avid and that will make you finish your edit so much faster so you have more time to drink beer with your friends with your partners with your pets as long as there's a radio or even a TV on, you're really never drinking alone. So thank you so much for watching. Go to avidbeer.com for more, and I'll see you in the next video.